Hi, today we're going to be doing a modified Allen's test. The reason why it's a modified Allen's test is a regular Allen's test is performed with a patient's hand above their head, but we're going to be doing a modified Allen's test. And the reason why I wanted to film this was that I like to use the modified Allen's test for students to really articulate ischemia and perfusion and reperfusion. And the other reason why I want to do it is that for you med students out there, you need to perform a modified Allen's test on anyone that you're going to be doing arterial blood gases on. Um, we don't see enough of them out on the ward and you really need to do it in order to find out how efficiently uh, the ulna artery is going to be. I'm going to release both arteries when I do this just so that we can articulate the perfusion that I was talking about. So if I can just get you to make a fist. Okay, so open. So what we've got is that we've got an ischemic hand and we're going to look at the reperfusion now and I'll count it in. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Okay, can you make that fist again please? Now I'm going to release the ulna artery. Open. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000. Okay. So the patient has excellent reperfusion, they've got really good circulation and supply from the ulna artery and in this particular case it would be safe to do arterial blood gas on the radial artery. Thanks.